Hey everybody, I am back. This is six Photofolios 2 Style 6. This is my garden photo folio. Love taking pictures of flowers and all those kind of fun things. So I decided to make a folio of the millions of pictures that I have of flowers over the years. So this is um, a closure made out of um, craft text and it features the little snaps. We used this back in the, I think it's the Insta, Insta something mini album that Kathy has. There's a tutorial for it. That, that's like my first video. So that features those little snaps. So it's like a little belt. And here, as you can see, I start telling the story with the flowers. This paper is um, Prima's Optimist, which I bought when I saw it. I bought it maybe about two years now. Let it sit there waiting for the perfect project. This was it. So <laughs> I saved the paper and I purposely laid it out the way I did and then also put this sentiment right here on the side. And this also came from that Prima, the Optimist paper line. I think you can still find it. It's a little bit difficult, but you can still find it if you like it. Alrighty, inside. This though came from Prima's Anna Marie, but it goes with the whole floral theme. Alrighty, so here's the first page with a journaling spot, um, journaling card. Journaling spot, me in Washington, D.C. Oh, a couple years back. So I started out with Washington, D.C. first. And, you know, this was during the Cherry Blossom Festival. Oh, it was a beautiful time, beautiful time. I mean, the pictures are great, but in real life, holy smokes. All right, here's another journaling card and little spot to journal. One of these days I want to get around to journaling. This was back when I used to do a ton of yoga and I was in a park. Got up on a tree. It looks like I'm low, but I'm really high up. I must have been like in a Zen moment to get that high up and then release my arms. <laughs> and here's a little spot. And Kathy did this little genius pullout, which features what she what what she did was put a brad here. I actually use the scrapbook posts. You know, the little it, that you use in a scrapbook, and it, they just screw into each other, and they actually work well as a little you know, turn out flip book. This was at another festival, local Florida festival at Fairchild Tropical Gardens. So I, you know, just love the whole peacock and of course flamingos and we don't see them that often. And look at those. If I see orchids, I must stop and take a picture. So I still need to put more photographs, but I definitely started. And look at that. Beautiful paper. This now is Prima's Forever Green. So there's two main lines in this whole entire project. Prima's the Optimist, Prima's Forever Green. And it just slides beautifully right in there. Come over to this side. Here's a little tag. Haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with it yet. And then I did this whole collage in this large pocket. Love this Anne Marie paper. Also Prima, like I said before. Close that up neatly. Everything is in one side. So this is like the, I would call this mainly my um, Washington DC side. Here's a photograph of my mom with all the beautiful cherry blossoms. Oh, it was so, such a nice time. Look at those cherry blossoms. If you have not been, you must go. It's, it's something to see, something to see. Here we go again with the cherry blossoms. This is at Fairchild Garden. They had a garden festival and I whipped out my camera. Young ladies here singing. Look at that beautiful tree. I just think, you know, if you catch those moments, oh, just capture them with your camera. Beautiful moments. This is actually my backyard, hibiscus. I am from Jamaica, the island. You see this all the time, but when you catch it like this, wow, right? Flamingos again, and yes, I still need to put more photographs in here. I'll get around to it. <laughs> This is also in the backyard. I have my little Buddha hiding there amongst two little green plants that are just happy, happy, happy. This is another one of my little green plants that's a very happy plant, right? Nice little pocket. This is my little kissing angel statue. I love her. She's like poking out her little lips and she has wings and oh, found her at a garden store. 
Um, this is a photograph of, uh, where was I? Uh, tropical garden, botanical gardens down on South Beach. Same place. Doing a little yoga. <laughs> Need to get back into my yoga, actually. Give me some peace of mind. So that's one little assembly. Flip over. And here, here's another little lovely large pocket with a tag. That's my dog that passed away. That's Bud. Bud was, see, Bud was happy in the garden too. Look at that hibiscus. Love it, love it. Bougainvillea, another statue. Yes, I call my garden the Buddha Lounge. This was in New York City. So those are um, hydrangeas. And this assembly is like a triple belly band. Love it. Here we have another Buddha statue with a plant. Don't ask me what that plant is. I forgot the name of it. Two slide outs. Orchids. Got a lot of orchids. Love orchids. And the hibiscus up close. I'm going to put these on this side. And see how it layers nicely? So it's like one belly band, uh, two pocketed belly band, and then a large belly band. And then this slides out. See, I did a whole collage with the belly bands. And then I did this jumbo photo mat. Another one of my Buddha statues in the Buddha lounge. This bougainvillea, yes, I do have this bougainvillea. You have to feed it like crazy, but isn't she a beauty when she does bloom? This was taken down in Key West. Flip over. Some little, uh, what did I call this? A journaling tag. <laughs> photo mat, photo mat. And look at this beautiful Optimus paper, Prima Optimus. Another one of my hibiscus and on the back an orchid I love when orchids are in bloom just you just have to whip out the camera another one of my hibiscus see how they're all different hibiscus see I love this one but when this one blooms it's like hello it's singing hello to the world this was another statue that I had unfortunately being outside in the heat she kind of broke in half so, tragic very tragic this was in New York um, at the, uh, is it the, up in the Bronx, there's a botanical garden in Manhattan. Fabulous place to go if you have a chance. Okay, that's the backyard. This was the backyard when my hibiscus were like, hello, and very happy during springtime. Again, hibiscus. Again, some orchids. This was at a park that I went to. Another one of my hibiscus. And hibiscus are very cheap. If you live in South Florida, hibiscus, this I forgot the name of. And Bougainvillea. Happy, 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 happy. Another shot of my backyard. This is, this is an orchid inside the house with um, indirect sunlight. They love indirect sunlight. In the backyard. In the backyard with Buddha. This is a jumbo pocket. I wish that was my orchid. It's not. This one is though. Look at those orchids. This was on Earth Day. I went out on a kayaking kayaking boat ride on, on Earth Day. It was very nice. Flip around the back here. And here are two little photo photo tags, photo mat tags. I kind of put a little tag topper on them. That's that stamping up tag. Tab punch. What am I talking about? Tag punch. It's a tab. T-A-B. And that's my another one of my Buddha statues. That's my first Buddha statue. I bought this little baby from Target. So you can find great stuff. Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, have little statues, put a little crystal on it. Happy, happy. And here I did another collage again of the paper. Paper going up. See all that beautiful chalkboard. This is that same Prima Optimus. These are all my little crystals. These crystals represent the seven chakras. Okay, if you're into yoga and <laughs> that kind of stuff, that's what that is. And um, there's my little Buddha statue. Another Buddha statue. A little Buddha temple around the back. There goes my little kissing angel. Isn't she sweet? She just, she just makes the whole garden thing happy. Another one of the plants. I just like to go to the gardening center, find something new, bring it home. Only one of them I've, I've had an issue with. It's, um, look at that beautiful. This was at um, Whole Foods, actually. Do you know when you go into Whole Foods and they sell the orchids? I just had to take a picture. It was so pretty. Um, one of the plants I... I bought, oh my gosh, it's one of those that when it drops, it just keeps on going. It spreads like wildfire. I can't, can't remember the name right now. Look at the flamingo, little journaling spot. 
little journaling card. Orchid, that's not my, oh, it is my orchid. Uh, not my orchid, my bougainvillea. I can tell by the deck. <laughs> this is when you get the bougainvillea happy. You have to get bougainvillea food though. That's in Key West. Another bogey. And then this is just a little thing in the backyard. Alrighty. Tuck these beautiful photo mats back in. I just wanted a way to, to just sit here and remember all the great moments. My bougainvillea. This was at that Fairchild Tropical Garden. Look at that orchid growing up in the tree. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's in the backyard. I can't remember what's that called. My brain is going on vacation right now. This was down on South Beach. Look at those bananas in the background. Yes, I had to take a picture. I am from the islands, so you know we have like banana trees. Over here, um, this is an acetate pocket page. This acetate I use, it's um, basil acetate. So it's kind of, it's, it's a substantial type of bas um, acetate. Here I lined it back with that um, Prima Anne Marie paper. I left the magnet bare actually. I kind of like that whole look of the bare magnet. And it clips down like that. See how the whole paper continues? So even if I didn't have anything in it, the pocket's still pretty, right? Here is a large photo mat. And I put my little kissing angel, she's supposed to be kissing me. Yes, I'm sentimental that way. Here's the, the hibiscus. And um, here's a little tag. I kind of did a collage. Put a little chipboard piece here. That's me. Little photo on the bottom. Little um, strip of paper on the bottom. And they all slide nicely in there. And trust me, see, they can fit more pictures. If I wanted to, to load it up, which I... Eventually we get round to it. This little last page though, I don't know why it's a little bit tight, but with time, it'll open up. Here, this was at the Fairchild Tropical Gardens. Look at that, it, isn't that just beautiful, the colors and the little birds. So I had this, this came back from that forever green paper with the eggs and the little birds. So I just did a whole collage. And this is the little Tim Holtz um, tabs, number tabs. I was following around this poor, this poor peacock, this peacock was like, leave me alone, lady. And I just kept on like, come on, spread the whole thing for me. <laughs> it wouldn't spread it. But I still got pretty pictures, but it just wouldn't, you know, spread the back, you know, when they just fluff out the feathers and everything. It, it wouldn't do it. Just kept walking away from me like, stop taking my picture. I still did anyway. Back into the trees. And this is, um, I had to find something neutral because I had so much going on here. This paper is Die Cuts with a View, I think it's called Decor Noir. Let me show you what it looks like without everything in it. See, it, it, it does say flowers, but it's not fighting with all of this going on here. So that's why I chose that paper. That's the only one that's not a Prima product. Stick this in here in these two beautiful L pockets. So LL, it's like a L and a reverse L. And here's another jumbo photo mat. See the peacock? It gave me a little back, but it didn't give me the full spread like I wanted. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll go back again and, and find another peacock. Maybe one that's more cooperative. Okay, look here. There's some more beautiful orchids. I think that was at an orchid festival, actually. Another orchid. Somebody had a beautiful orchid. Um, that's that ginger plant. And I did a little collage here with the forever green with the stickers and everything. I found that little palm tree just hanging out. I just thought it was a beautiful moment to capture. Here is some journaling cards in a collage. This was a photograph that somebody I knew took. So I thought that it's, I just always love this photograph. So I put it in here. That was more of an artistic piece, but I just think it's so pretty. Another little journaling spot. Um, orchid, let's see what else, let me come back over here, what did I, is this a pocket, no, oh, I guess I just stuck this on here, I wanted to enjoy the paper, that's why I didn't map the whole thing, <laughs> okay, I'm like, why did I do it that size, but it's my project, so, you know, if you want to enjoy the paper, just map smaller, this is another shot from the backyard, this plant, I can't remember what it is, but I think it grows better better up north. So this only lasted for one little season. But it was pretty though, wasn't it? And this is a nice little large tag that I made. 
And this is those um, Prima crochet stickers. Just love them. I have a few. I saved them for just those special little accent spots. This is the back. Yes. And here's still a large, I still left this open on the side here. So I could put something in it if I want or just seal it. Not sure yet what I'm going to do. And that is it. This is Photofolios 2 Style 6. Pick up the tutorial from Kathy Orta if you haven't. It is wonderful. And I made two of them, so I'm going to show you the second one now. And I think the best thing to do if you're going to make them, cut two, at the, cut two make them both at the same time, or three. Because it makes it much easier to do the project because you'll love it. Then you want to make another one and you, then you'll think, why didn't I just do two at the same time? Alrighty, ladies. Thank you for watching. Bye.